Hello everyone, I'm Chuckle here for another video review. This time we have the Cadbury's Mini Rolls Caramel. Presumably uh, Easter limited edition. Happy Easter. <laughs> I don't, I've not seen them before anyway. Um, clearly branded with the Cadbury's Caramel. Well, they don't really do Cadbury's Caramel anymore, do they? They did Cadbury's Dairy Milk with Caramel. Um, but back when, you know, maybe 10, 10, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago or something, it was Cadbury's Caramel. It had the, uh, and the Caramel Bunny as well on it, so... Um, She's not made an appearance back <laughs> for this, um, so chicken instead. But yeah, so clearly, it's not dairy milk with caramel, they've used that caramel branding, so it's funny how they've gone back to that. Um, yeah, interesting though. It looked just like that really, and it had this, and it was this yellow colour, was the branding. It was literally just actually uh, this yellow colour wrapping, there's nothing to do with dairy milk. Um, and it just said Cadbury's caramel, so yeah. But anyway, um, interesting. Um, yeah, eight individual wrap rolls, mini rolls, just in case you don't know, generally look like this. Pretty much exactly the same, but they don't have a, this is probably got a caramel centred cream. Normally it's just a white cream that's this colour. Um, so there we go, yeah. And various different limited editions over the years. Um, and there's other ones you can get a standard, I think there's a strawberry one which has like a vanilla sponge on the middle, in the middle and a, sort of like a um, strawberry centre, strawberry jam centre. It's very nice, it's quite the nicest one actually, I think. Um, in fact, there they are, there look. <laughs> it's got cream in the centre as well, actually. Okay, it's very nice. They're the nicest ones, I think. Um, this one says, so chocolate flavour sponge with a caramel flavour filling and caramel sauce covered with milk chocolate. Caramel sauce. Mm. Caramel flavour filling and caramel sauce. That sounds nice. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm just trying to find a hazelnut one of these. There was a mint one and another one, and uh, there was a hazelnut one, but I never found it. Never found it anywhere. Don't know what happened to that one. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, that's what we got. Um, yeah, it says per roll, 125 calories, 6 grams of fat, 3 of which are saturates. It's quite easy to, to do. Yeah, this looks quite nice. I quite like the caramel branding. I like the way they've come back to that. Um, obviously, it's got Easter stuff on it as well. Happy Easter. Usually, they don't spe specifically say Easter on these things, do they? they you know, they don't, they don't specifically, you know, because obviously that makes it a bit quite quite religious, you know, uh, just tied down to religion, so they normally do try and avoid that these days, but it's quite nice that they've just done that, I mean, I'm not a religious person myself, really, but, you know, um, you know, there's, why hide about it, you know what I mean, <laughs> just, just, just call it like it is, you know, um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, there we go, yeah, you know what I mean, it's, you know, clearly you're releasing egg-shaped stuff around Easter, clearly it's Easter, why pretend it's not for Easter, you know, <laughs> okay, well, I say that obviously, you know, if you're religious, you know, you don't want to have all the religions, all the religious things shoved down your throat, I guess, but, you know. I don't know, yeah, I'll argue it for another day, that compl complicated, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, um, so for better or worse, they have specifically said Happy Easter on it, so there we go. Um, right, so individually, uh, yeah, so it's quite, it's quite, quite minimalist in a way, there's a lot of space here of nothing. On the inside wrapper, um, hmm, it looks quite nice. But uh, I don't know, you feel like there should be something else here. Maybe just said Cadbury's or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, as I say, uh, has a slogan on it with big person mini rolls with big personality. It says so. There we go. Make it a nuts. Contains wheat, egg, milk, and soya. There's eight of them in here. And I would say that there's a bit of a Gap at the side, but it's not too bad. Not too bad a gap, actually. I think it's tall. I think it's, it's acceptable. Yeah, that's not bad. A bit of flourishing is going on. Um, obviously, though, what might not be acceptable though is the fact once you've taken everything out, you can, you know, you clearly see. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, it doesn't need to be that big, does it? Really, the cardboard. You know, it's a good inch or something almost. Yeah. So with the flourishes. Quite wide, really. Massive flourishes. Ridiculously big, actually. So big, it's hard to measure them. So the bar with, it, with the flourishes is about 11.5 centimetres, almost. Let's give it an open and uh, see what it's like without... 11.5, let's see what it's become. So it's become 7. So there we go, so we've lost 4.5 centimetres there, which is ridiculous. And also, if we put it in here, there we go, uh, there you go, that's the gap at the top there, so it doesn't need to have that much space. It may be a little bit of space, of course, but um, yeah. In place, I'm trying to hold it flat, it doesn't quite stay flat. 
But I think you get the point, you know. <laughs> There's clearly a massive gap here at the top, which is pretty ridiculous, I'd say. Okay, it smells nice though, they do smell nice. Um, so I think we had seven, what do you say, seven centimetres long. Yep, yeah, height wise, about 2.7. Width wise from centre to centre, about 3.4. There we go. Let's give it a cut down the middle so it looks like. That's not the best. Sometimes these cut and look really nice. This one's not managed it quite well. So they sometimes do, you can cut them so they will look just like that on the front. So it can happen. Sometimes the knife though just doesn't go through very well. So, you know, and that, well, I'll say that based on previous mini rolls experience. You know, uh, this one might be different, but I doubt it. But you see, it looks very nice. You can see there's clearly a caramel syrup in there, whatever it was called. Uh, caramel sauce. There we go. Yeah, I can see it. I don't know if you can quite see it glinting in the in the light there. Just there. Is there? And it surrounds the the cream a bit. You know, a bit harder to see. Covered a bit with the sponge here in the middle. Um, you can see a bit more here. Yeah. You can quite see it. It's just there. It surrounds the cream. Glints a bit in the sun. There's a lot of it there anyway. It's on the other side as well, actually. I think there's quite a lot there. It doesn't glint too well. Hmm, but it seems to be a lot there. Hmm. It smells nice. It doesn't smell particularly caramelly, but it smells nice. Um, so I think it's about time we give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Hello, Bob. Good to see you. <laughs> Hello. Right, looking forward to this one. I'm saying, it does look very nice. I'm quite, quite um, excited about the fact that it's got some like a caramel sauce on there as well. Um, which you know the other, the other different flavors don't tend to go to that extreme. You just change out the sponge or the or the or the flavoring of the center. This one's got like a caramel flavored one, um, and the caramel sauce. So let's give it a go. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's not bad. You can definitely taste the sauce there and things. It's not really very caramel tasty, I have to say. Hmm. It's about like you've got um, the caramel flavoured cream and the caramel sauce, so you can't really taste any caramel. Uh, hmm. This is a real shame. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Very uh, odd that. I mean, it's not unpleasant, actually. It's nice, but um, hmm, just doesn't really taste of caramel. Um, <laughs> yeah, it really doesn't. Um, I do like it, but uh, yeah, just hmm. Hmm. definitely um, caramel in there. It just doesn't really taste of it. Doesn't taste quite as a vanilla or whatever as it normally does when the reg without, without the caramel filling, but just doesn't um, mm. just doesn't seem to taste. Oops, sorry, just doesn't seem to taste of caramel. So you can see, taking a bit of the cream off here. Let's just give it a bit of a taste uh, on its own. Hmm, mm. it's quite subtle. And so I think it just needed to be filled solidly with caramel, none of the cream. I think the cream is taking away from the caramel taste. There's no, um, it's just mixing in with it and um, I think it's just, I don't know, diluting it or whatever when you taste it. So I think it just needed to literally just have to be filled with caramel. And I think that would have been perfect. Hmm. I haven't tasted a bit on its own. Hmm. It's just when mixed with the cream, it just really... Um, you know, the, the, you know, there's not enough cream taste in the cream itself. Mm. It just liquefies, um, just dilutes the, the caramel taste. Yeah, so I think that's the problem, really. So it is nice, um, not unpleasant, but just not very caramel-like. And I think that's the whole point of it. You may as well have the regular ones, really. Um, mm. The chocolate's nice. I always have time for mini rolls, even though I think they're probably quite plain, really. But... I always like them from my childhood, you know, I've always been, you know, I always, I always associate them with a nice treat. Um, I do like the chocolate outside, and I like the sponge. But for me, I still think, uh, despite the fact that it's all chocolatey, I still think the, the sort of the jam one is the nicest one. <laughs> Once on the back of here. Um, 
Just so it just seems to have it just seems to have nicer flavours. Even though you wouldn't think it, you'd think the chocolate would be better. And as a child, I always thought, oh, chocolate's always better. You know, you never would go for anything plain like that. A Victoria sponge like, but it's just nice. It just works well. Has better flavours. I think chocolate sponge generally is a bit. Even though you think it'd be quite nice, it's quite boring, really, actually. <laughs> um, so you know, the vanilla ones actually taste a bit better. You find out some chocolate cakes as well, really strangely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this one there, mm, mm, yeah. Just a bit, not very caramel like. But it's okay. Um, but yeah, it's meant to be caramel like, isn't it? It's meant to be all about the caramel. I think if it literally just had the caramel sauce in the centre, no cream, I think that would have made it um, work really well. I think that's what I need, but maybe it wouldn't have been a mini roll with, with that in because you need the, the cream is kind of like the thing, isn't it? But yeah, I think that's been a problem as well. I think the cream just didn't taste caramel enough. Um, and then if you, but if it did, would you need the sauce? Uh, but they don't work well together, you know. The, like I said the cream just totally dilutes the caramel taste for whatever reason. So, yeah. So it just needs it needs tidying up this whole concept. It's just not. It just doesn't work. Um, so, but it's still nice though. Still a nice mini roll. Um, better than the average cake bar, I think. So probably a three and a half out of five, I think. Um, it does have a nice. I say you get some of these cake cake bars like the penguin ones. Something they're just useless really. They're just all bland sponge. This one then. Um, you know, this one, these ones taste nice. You know, I think, I think penguin is. There's a lot of them that all look exactly the same, which just have slightly different branding or different toppings. Um, cake club, uh, sorry, penguin club, um, trio. I think was one. Loads of them. Um, they, they all released uh, cake bars. <clears throat> M and M's. I think was another. All rubbish. You know, they all taste exactly the same. Just slightly different. You know, um, this one's better than this. So slightly above average, I think. Because I think those are all the. Well, I say they're rubbish. They're all average. Um, just don't really taste of anything. Um, so I think this one's a three and a half out of five, maybe borderline four, but I'm going to say three and a half, I think, because it just doesn't taste the caramel, and that's the whole point of it, and it doesn't really taste of that, so a bit of a shame. But never mind, but you still enjoy it, though, you'll still enjoy it if you had it. <laughs> okay, guys, so we enjoyed that review. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my videos, and I'll see you next time, on Instagram as well. <laughs> see you later. Bye. <laughs> Take care.